Welcome in to BetUS TV, where we want to educate you on how to bet on everything. I'm your host, Gary Seegers, and in this video, we're going to talk about profitable NBA bets with Alex Christensen. Of course, one of our experts on the BetUS NBA show, he is at underscore noops on Twitter. And if you have trouble with that handle, again, it is spoon backwards, as you have told me before. Alex, we appreciate for you, uh, excuse me, appreciate you for joining. How are things, my friend? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I always love talking basketball and especially betting theory. So let's get into it. Let's do it. Reminder, if you like what we're doing here at BetUS TV, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, Alex, let's go ahead and dive in. Can you walk us through the different types of NBA bets? Yeah, three basic wagers and terms I'm sure a lot of people are used to hearing, especially from other sports. We'll start with the money line. That's most simply who's going to win the game. It's nice and straightforward, but sometimes you have heavy favorites and big underdogs, so it's maybe not as fun you know, to lay minus 700 on your team. So uh, they invented what's called the spread, and that is quite simply a bet that either one team will win by a certain amount of points or more, or another team will lose by a certain amount of points or less. You know, for example, if you have the Celtics minus three, um, they're the favorite there. They have to win the game by at least three points or more. Conversely, say you've got the Philadelphia 76ers plus seven. The Sixers just have to keep the game within seven points or win out right there. Finally, there's totals. And this is a bet on how many points are scored. And you can do this teams combined. You can do this teams individually. Those are called team totals. And each one of those bets you can do for the full game the first half or the first quarter. Um, some places, maybe pregame, you can find some other versions, but as you go live, you'll see that there's bets for every quarter, and then there's a second half bet that will pop up at halftime. Um, so a, a lot of different ways you can start to attack it. Um, if you want to bet, say, specific players, this has been something newer over the last couple of years. We have what are called player props. Um, how many points will someone score? Rebounds, assists, will they have a double-double? Something like that. So a lot of ways to slice the pie. All right, so... Let's let's break it down into how we decide to do this. You've got your projection, you've got a market based projection and, and you've got the current prices. How do you decide when to make a bet? It's a great, great question because there's a lot of different ways to think about this. So uh, the first thing you want to start to do is uh, make sure you have an edge. And, and really just what that means is your projection says one thing. The market says another thing. There is a specific reason for that. As we talked about in a previous episode, you really want to understand why your projection is one way, why the market is the other way. So you can try to understand all the different angles. And when you start to look into those edges, you find it in things like understanding match. Um, you know, one of the big things is understanding what certain teams do, what certain teams cannot do. Um, every year in the NBA, there are teams that are very sloppy. They turn the ball over. It's a lot of these younger teams. And there are certain teams that just make their living on those turnovers. And, and a lot of those matchups, if some of my favorite bets to make, give me a team that scores off turnovers against a younger team that turns the ball over a lot. I want that team total over. Give me that team to score a bunch of points and probably to win the game. So you start to break down different little things and angles like that and it's a little bit of art it's a little bit of science you know me personally if I'm betting a total I want to have at least a three-point edge in my direction if I'm betting a spread it's maybe closer to two points is okay if I'm betting a money line you know the probability I'm hoping for at least a five six percent edge there and that's something that you figure out as you go through your projections and uh, build up a nice history of bets and again make sure you're brighten those bets down because then you can see what you're good at what you're bad at um, so again you start with those two projections you understand why your number is different. You look for what your advantages are. And when one of those pop up, it's time to make a wager. I love it. There's a lot that goes into it. We definitely appreciate Alex's time today. Everyone, make sure to subscribe to, of course, the BetUS NBA show to catch his analysis. And if you're ready to get in on the action with BetUS, where the game begins, of course, visit BetUSTV.com slash join for more information.